See, there are three sets of people on earth. There are all things people. May you be one of them. Hot. Every aspect of their life is undoed by God. Every aspect. As I was leading down in the office before coming here, while the worship was going on, Pastor Adeboye, something just came up. And he said, redeemed Christian church of God began to grow because God gave the growth to me as a birthday gift. He said, I came to London. He said, the church was poor. He said, it was difficult for me to go to school. Just listen, listen. Probably. Just listen. You know, I get emotional. What gets me emotional in life? When I see what God does, it gets me emotional. When I see what man does, it gets me angry. You just use your effort to produce. And you, you know, sometimes somebody has come to me before. As a matter of fact, many people have come to me. And they say, ah, do you know how you join them together in that church? If I come to that church, will I get a husband? And I say, why don't you tell all the pastors of the churches where you attend to join people together also? Just arrange them and join them together. They actually think that people just come here and just say, you and you, just get together and get married. They can't recognize the act of the Holy Ghost. And why me, I'm rejoicing. I say, God, how do you put people together? How does he work this way? And he's so perfectly working. And he's so, ha and everybody's so happy. When I see the act of God, I, I, I get very, I get, I get very emotional. I say, God, we cannot actually see you most of the time. But when you see your act, I just say, wow. And the boy said, I am a doctorate degree holder and it was difficult for me to hold it. But at least, he said, at least I had a car, I had a house and I could feed my family. All of a sudden, I began to attend a church. All of them are predominantly Yoruba. They don't understand English. If anybody understands English and they cannot speak Yoruba, they will ask me to be interpreted to them. He said, this church was poorer than my father's house and in my father's house, I say in my father's house, we are the poorest of all the people that the poor people call us poor. Then he now brought me to a church that is poorer than my father's house. He said, God now said, you will be a pastor. He said, he said, eh? He said, that God will repeat what you just said. That you will be a pastor. In this poor place, you, if somebody wants to be a pastor, you know, but he said, you know, you cannot win against God. I just said, yes, Lord. Then I now said, God, but you said I should be a pastor. Okay, make the church grow. He said, the church did not grow. He said he fasted, he prayed, he did everything he did in the church. No. One day, say I was in London just to arrange Sunday school. Said, Even if the church is not growing, let the people there not go to hell. <laughs> so he said he was doing Sunday school. He said he just had in his ear. And his birthday was approaching. He said, Adeboye, what birthday gift will you need? Ah. He said he asked God. So is God interested in people's birthday? That's number one. He said, now to God, if you are the one, repeat what you said. Because I, I cannot just allow something to be deceiving me. He said, God now repeated it and said, you, what do you need as a bed? He said, ah, you are the one. I need a miracle for every single member of the church that I pastor. Give me a miracle. He said, that is the beginning of the Holy Ghost services. He said, from that point, the church began to grow. As a matter of fact, he said the church grew by almost 6,000 people in one weekend. And church began to grow from that point on. He said, God gave me as a... When I see God involved in people's life, and that is the reason why you need to study what makes God to be involved. It is not that those people sought for the purpose of God for their life. They sought for God. People who seek for the purpose of God from God, they want to use God. Want to use God for your business. Want to use God to build this. Want to use God to... He's not interested. Now, who is my husband? He is not interested. Because you're looking for a monument. You're not looking for a movement. Abraham did not seek for a child. It's only God that said, I will give you a child. And after giving him, God said, give him back to me. And when he did not, we told the God, and I said, ah, you did not, we told your son, your only son. Because after God has given you a thing, it becomes yours. He takes his hands off. Then when for it, he says, it is your own. And Abraham released the son. And God said, in blessing, I will bless you. In multiply, I will multiply you. Through you, sir, all the families of the earth. You know, somebody else can still carry something from God, you know. I just tell God, I say, I'm not interested in the struggles anymore. 
There are nothing people. I know I'm not part of the nothing people. I've received some things. I do not know whether I'm just some things people. Sometimes God will move in their life. Some other time, everybody will say, oh God, we beg you, please help this person. <laughs> some things, many Christians are in that realm. Sometimes they just seek the law, they know the law, and God takes over. Some other time they just say, well, you know, I can't just come and die. You know, I came here for education. It's actually education that brought me here, you know. Some other people say, you know, I need to wear some clothes because, you know, I, I, I need to be attractive to a guy that will come around me. And you forget everything about God and dress to attract the person that will come around and nobody will come around. Or non-entity will come around. Let me tell you, these three things, as we close. God is the beginning and the whole of life is spiritual. And God is the beginning and the tail end of all spirituality. It was the devil that arranged how Abimelech will end the promise of God over the life of Abraham. Sarah was the one promised. If Abraham slept with any other person and had, a, and, had a, and had a child, he was not the child of promise. It was Sarah that was promised. Let us defile him. Let us defile her. Let us corrupt her. He was, how can somebody be 90 years old and is still beautiful to you? You are, you are a king. And you have many young girls in your harem. And you have access to any girl. How can you say a 90-year-old is more beautiful than a 17-year-old? You yourself judge for yourself, if not for devil. That they say somebody enters a house, I went to go and rape a 78-year-old woman. You know that it's let devil reloaded. I've heard of those stories. They are supposed to take those people, those rapists, to Africa, to, to Burkina Faso, where they still have death penalty. <laughs> somebody like that is not supposed to be alive. Because there are so many young girls that will like you. There is nobody that is not liked. You just need to know where they like you. It may not be everywhere. <laughs> there is nobody that is not like You know this morning, I was trying to wear my shirt. And that was when the message came to me. I was trying to wear my shirt. And these are the same shirt that they don't go around my neck. Maybe because of our 75 days fasting and prayer. All my shirt now goes and I... And God now said, you don't even have to be waiting for a shirt, whether it will fit you or not. You are 16 or 15 and a half. That's, those are the shirts I use. God said, buy 17. You can be so sure that every time you want to wear it, it goes around. <laughs> he now said, I said, that is the same way some people are forcing themselves into the life of others in places. There are places where you're just totally accepted. There's no, there's no, that's the reason why sometimes I want to kneel down and say, go, oh, this person is not going to be in the church anymore. Whatever. I say, are you okay? I say, pastor, don't ever force yourself over anybody. It will not last. It will not last. Because you cannot be God. Wait, oh, I didn't say you cannot be Jesus. There's a difference. Hello? When Jesus was on earth, God, people queried him. We have not seen God, so it has not made us query him. They say, look at the way he's sitting. It's not even what's in his hand. <laughs> Are you listening to what I'm saying? Now? Maybe I'm even like Jesus now, but people did not accept Jesus. He's so, he has not tried it. God has not tried it, whether they will accept him. <laughs> he has not, maybe if you come down like cloud, and just moving, if you don't want to affect, accept him, it just becomes fire on you, burn you. <laughs> you. You know, but are you listening to what? A pastor would be a normal human being. I got here yesterday, but you know, you just finished praying. I was rushing to pray. What is the first thing I did, Godi? What is the first thing I did? But I was so angry. I told them I would break their camera. I said, this camera, I said, I'll just break this camera. I said, why are you just like, these are the people who have brought people to the church and they have been praying. They have been, I don't even care about what they have been doing because I told them before I left that the camera must be arranged. That me and Brockinsley started this thing. And I came back, there was no camera on the whatever. They said, Ovo is now. I said, if you don't arrange this thing, I'm a human being. A few minutes later, some of you came to me. Uh, where is Merit? Me and you are gist, isn't it? Before we started gist, this guy came to me. I want to see you for one minute. I said, no, I don't have one minute. I said, I'm suffocating. Is that not what I told you? I said, I don't want to talk to anybody. Go. You, you came. Why are we not talking? 
we were jesting about everything. <laughs> it was why we were not just around and say, okay, call that guy to come soon. <laughs> I'm a human being. I'm a human being. If I'm not accepted, I'm not accepted. Even if you explain yourself a million times, you are still rejected. Why are you forcing it? I wanted to marry people who were older than Mirella before Mirella came into my life. Some of them have children. Probaxa, they were laughing at me. They said, hey, he said he wanted to go out with me. He's a big word in our community that time when a guy, I'm talking about 40, 50 years ago, a guy said he wants to date, he go out with somebody. I said to them, I said, no, I didn't say I want to go out. Too. I don't even know where outside is. <laughs> I said, I didn't say I want to go. I said, I said, I want to marry. I said, that's the only thing I said. Say, they say it's the same thing. You want to date her, you want to go out with her. I said, I don't even know the meaning. <laughs> they were now messing me up. People who are, old, that their children were older than me. Under two weeks of talking to Mirella, that was much younger than me, she accepted me. See, today I'm still accepted. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So, Abraham's wife was 90. The devil arranged that we will mess up. So he stared up Abimelech. What did God do? The whole of life is spiritual. Don't ever think that your path just met somebody coincidentally. No. The whole of life is spiritual. But ladies and gentlemen, from the beginning to the tail end of spirituality, God is. He's even the head of principalities and powers. He's in the meeting of principalities and powers. They cannot hold meeting except God is there. God is the oxygen. Without oxygen, nothing is alive. Hello? Hello? If God removes the breath of life, can Satan and his cohort exist anymore? He has to supply them. He's the very breath of our nursery. He's the very breath of the nursery of any single thing, whether trees or animals. God is the oxygen. So he is everywhere. The Bible says he's the fullness of him that filleth all in all. He is in the meeting of witches and wizards. Does he allow them to carry out whatever they want to carry out? Yes. If you are a dummy, doministic enough, and challenge them. But he will tell you, like he told Jesus, Satan is about to come and tempt you. Let us go and meet him in the wilderness. Don't wait. Be in fasting. Let's go and meet him there. He will tell you. He told, he told Peter, he said, they have, they have taken authority to sift you like a wheat. Will you pray? Peter said, no, me. Ah, <clears throat> we are powerful. He said, you. He said, when you are restored, strengthen your brethren. No matter what, you are going to pass light. You are going to go back. When you come back, go and visit the rest of the people and say, come to church. Come to church. We are just playing. We are just playing. I didn't leave. I will just play. <laughs> Let us come back. Let me build this church. Let me. He said, said you are going to pass light. Peter said, he said, it's beneath me. If it's only me that remains, I, I, I will die for you. When he saw that, <laughs> he just said, Jesus, is he up to this? Why? What did you, you didn't do any, you didn't kill anybody, you didn't take anybody's wife, you didn't steal. I, at least I know you. So why are you just surrendering yourself? Like, use power, get out. You go, <laughs> and he told Jesus, he said, somebody like you should not die. Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. Peter asked, say, where is Satan? I'm the one talking. <laughs> the Bible said, he put Jesus aside and rebuked Jesus that you should not die. And Jesus looked at him in the eyes and said, get thee behind me, Satan. And he said, I'm your disciple. Which Satan? <laughs> Satan. God, seek God. You will be spiritual. Seek God. You will be spiritual. You will know things. Seek God. Look at Abraham. The wife was taken and he was resting. Just like Peter. He was to be killed and he was sleeping. How does this happen? Pastor Berlin was joking yesterday and he said one day his plane was about to crash and his younger brother was sleeping. He said, he woke him up and said, can you see how the plane is titting, eating? And the pilot said, we don't know where we are going. And the foil is about to finish. And he said, the younger brother said, don't wake me up. Jesus slept in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I said, this kind of faith. Pastor Billy said, I didn't have that kind of faith. He said, the brother said, don't wake me up. I'm not going to wake up. I'm not even going to bind anything. I'm not even... <laughs> and, and everything was all right. The minute they landed, where they were landing, foil finished. If it had been one minute later than that, they had crashed. God is the beginning and the tail end of spirituality. He goes ahead 
<laughs> seek him. Use everything that is possible to seek him, to seek him. Use everything. Use everything. You need to jump in the church. Jump. You need to go to prayer meeting. Pray. That is a day of evil that it will be counted that he had prayed this prayer. Abraham didn't need to pray anymore. God went to Abimelech say, you are a dead man. And Abraham didn't pray for anointing to heal a whole nation of, of barrenness. He just said, God heal them. He didn't. Don't you know what people do to heal barrenness? God heal them. And it is not God who closed their womb. He said, God heal them now. If it is the devil that closed people's womb, it's easy to do. If it is human being that closes, it's easy. If it is God, because we don't know what to even appease him with part time, except he comes to you to come and tell you, okay. Uh, <laughs> No, if it is the devil, in the name of Jesus, Satan will flee. Many of the problems people have is not people's problem. It's not Satan's problem. That's why you pray, pray, it didn't go. It's God's problem. He said, I will restore to you the years that the canker one, palm one, locusts and caterpillars have eaten. He said, my army that I sent among you, I'm the one who sent them there, my army. Many people, it is God that is the problem. It is not Satan. Even Satan will be saying, why is he praying, 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 praying? We left this matter six years ago. Why is he praying? It's not us. You now go to Satan. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Say, can you just stop wasting words? Because that we don't have any demon that is deployed into that part anymore. We are waiting for another thing that is supposed to happen in your life since six years ago. We are waiting. We are waiting there. That's where we are waiting. This one, we have left it. He said, but how is it not now happening? He said, it's between you and God. Even Satan said, it's between you and God. And when it is now between you and God, you are in a terrible place. But because Abraham was standing with God, just say, let them be healed. He didn't have to pray twice. He didn't have to pray for the life of Abimelech to be spared twice. Seek God. Seek God. Seek. Just tell him, God, I want to know you. I've been wanting to know purpose for a long time. I just want to know you alone. Can I just know you? If you know God, you will know your husband. If you know God, you will know your pastor. There are many things your pastor will not tell you, you just know. God went to Abimelech, that man is a man. Number one, that lady is his wife. Number two, he's my prophet. He has healing anointing. Abraham, Abimelech gave offering without any, as any service. He didn't just give offering of tight of uh, animals. He gave, he gave Abraham men servant, women servant. He just gave Abraham... Now I said, take any part of the land. Just, can, you what, can you see prosperity? By means of God defending somebody. God is the beginning and the tail end of God's spirituality. Take that seriously. Number two. Let me tell you. Once God has not built the house, all efforts based on human intelligence are poised for vanity. Listen again. Once God has not built the house, all efforts based on human intelligence, are poised for vanity. This is not emphasized enough and it cannot be overemphasized. You can be in marriage for 10 years. It will still come crashing down if God was not in it. You will study a course. After you have passed and everything, you will still discover there is no job for that course in the market because God didn't order it. So that's the reason why God must be sought. Don't seek him to say, Lord, what should I do? Just say, Lord, who are you? He needs to know that you want to know him. Somebody just come to the church. Pastor, I just come. I learned that uh, you have anointing to heal the blind. You don't even know what I'm going through as a person. Just calm down. In the midst of learning about God in the church, your blindness will go away without anybody laying hands on you. You don't even have to mention it. If the anointing is present there, it will work for you if you do the right thing. You would if you do the right thing. Say, Pastor, everybody get married here. So <laughs> I hope I will, I, my own will not be difficult. Even as I'm looking at you, I look at you as a pedophile or a cougar. There were some people that have come here like that. White, two white ladies, and they began to distribute everybody. 
They say, oh, I'll get my own husband. Somebody will be my husband. And uh, uh, you remember now? He say, another person will be my husband. And every guy that now comes to the church, they were attaching themselves to the guys. I was praying that God would remove them. They only came because of husband, nothing else. And from the moment that thing was not fulfilled, they're not happy. Look for the God factor in everything. Look for whether God is in this place. The life of Jacob changed when he said, God is in this place and I did not know. He didn't say purpose is in this place. He said, God is in this place and I did not know. Uh, he made, he, he rebuilt the altar over there. Say, God, say, God, I'm just for you. You will see how he will drive you into purpose. That's what the Bible says. Jesus gave us the key. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All of that things will be added. He didn't say seek ye first the kingdom of God and look for a purpose and look for a husband and look for this. See, this is not emphasized enough. God wants to be known. Even Philippians chapter 2. Wherefore God has highly exalted Jesus and given him a name which is above every day that at the name of Jesus every name is above of the things in every day and other day and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord to what? To the glory of God the Father. This morning, he said, how God anointed Jesus Christ. I just burst into tears. I told my wife, my wife, I said, I'm praying, please. Because my wife saw me sitting down on the bed. I said, he fed me, are you okay? I said, I'm praying. I was in my thing. I thought I was ringing it. How God anointed Jesus. And God said, I am the one who anointed Jesus. So all of you are exalting Jesus. I am the one. I'm, least, I'm the least studied. Everybody likes the salvation of Jesus and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He said, but they don't really study me. And I love to be studied. God is the one with love. And you know people with love, they are very terrible. If the love is not reciprocated. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the love of God. That man, who, for God so loved that he gave. He was the one who gave Jesus. He was the one who gave Holy Spirit. He wants to be studied. He wants to be known. He wants to be acted upon. As a matter of everything Jesus is doing, everything the Holy Ghost is doing, he's about God. So what if you join them in this effort? <laughs> that you just join Jesus. Let us exhort your father together. I, I, your father, can you reveal him to me? I want to know your father. I really want to know him. Moses only knew God. Look at how powerful. Delivering 3.5 million. Drying Red Sea. Different kind of miracles. Element, el, miracles that cause element to sift. He only knew God. Even the Holy Spirit wants you to know Jesus. Jesus wants you to know God. You must sit down with the word and say, God, he wants us to just know him. And the, once you give him a place, he will give you the place back. Abraham began to build altar. God said, he is my prophet. He made them give offering without altar call. Offering of human beings. They just, all of you slave here, uh, 600, how many are you? <laughs> Somebody tried to me in the night. You belong to Abraham now. He said, but oh, daddy, don't do like this. Stuff. They say, if you don't go. <laughs> you know, there are some offerings. People don't know. Somebody came to give offering to a particular man of God. He said he was crying as he was giving the, the offering. He said, the man of God said, I know you to be a giver. I said, no, I'm not a giver. <laughs> That God instructed me to come and that I'm not a giver. Say, 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 man of God, man of God, just pray. Don't, don't say I'm a giver because this one. <laughs> it's not because I'm a giver. It's because they, 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 they ask me that I must release. The, it's like somebody said, Abraham, you are a giver. Look at the way you gave your son. He was not. A, <laughs> he's been threatened. He didn't tell his wife. If he's a giver, he say, honey, please. Uh, <laughs> we're going to give this 500 euro. But he just took the son. And even the son was asking. Where is the animal to be killed? He said, the Lord will provide. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It is about God. I want you to ask the Lord. I need meet. It's a, it's a week of meeting with God. I need meetings with you this week. 